Hey, what is going on? So you're interested in getting the Harley Quinn crest, aka Shaco? Well, this might potentially increase your odds of getting it. It's speculated that this drops from Nightmare Dungeon 50 plus speculation there. And the devs told us prior to launch of the game that certain monster families will have increased drop rates for certain items. And we'll go over that in just a minute. But uh, so with those two things being said, let's put those two methods together and then let's go and farm for the Shaco. So I want you guys to try this. I want this to be a community effort. I want to see what kind of loot we're getting from here, et cetera, et cetera. So let's just hop right into the different types of families what kind of extra loot they're supposed to drop uh well what kind of it's not extra loot but it's uh like higher chance on their loot table to drop certain items okay so let's just get right into the video but today we're going to be talking about some monster families okay and uh that just means there's different types of monsters and they're grouped and categorized within the, 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 the diablo realm so uh, a little stutter there uh bandits we'll start off with the bandits uh mostly found in Kajistan, dry steps they're always up to no good bullying innocent humans and stealing whatever they can uh while they're not technically monsters they're enough for it uh and a wide presence across the lands uh they even get into fights with other monsters uh this family has three members the scrapper which is a bruiser with a mace the throat splitter which wields a small dagger and the marksman a ranger uh with the crossbow while these guys don't have any special abilities to watch out for, they can be annoying, especially when they attempt to ambush from underground. So these guys are commonly seen in like the snowy areas uh, in Kajistan, etc. And they just pop up out of the ground and they're annoying. Um, so yeah, that's the bandit family. Not too interested in these. These uh not too interesting. Uh, and then we have the beast family. Uh, yeah, obviously these are the beast. Uh, one of the largest families consists of bears, thorn beasts, shoot pine needles. So like this is like your your alderwood and uh wraith uh wraith wraithwood, I think it's called. Uh but yeah, they they we're not interested in the beast either. They drop chest, crossbows, and swords. Uh not interested. Cannibals, this is one of the ones I am interested in. So if you look here, common item drops two-handed axe axe and helmets okay helmets what is the one helmet that i said i was going to try to farm when i hit 100 the uh harley quinn crest harley quinn shako so yeah lore has it that the cannibals were former tribe of barbarians that were banished uh from harit uh no one knows why they were exiled but they are now known for their cannibalism they like to hang out in the dry steeps, often chomping on the corpse corpses as you you're adventuring by. Chomping on the corpse on a on a corpse as you are adventuring by. Okay. Uh since they were previously barbarians, uh you can assume they're very dangerous. In this family there are four members, two of which are more typical melee types, one that wields two handed greatsword, uh which delivers a slow sweeping frontal attack. And the other that uses a light weight halberd and likes to leap at players from a far distance. Uh, and then the Gorger is the biggest of them all, wielding a two spiked club that can knock you off your feet. Uh, while the Swarmers, the Manic, and the Cleaver are the little guys, dual wielding axes and run at you swiftly, and hordes looking to make quick work of you. Uh, they do not have a ranged arch type. None of them decided to spec into a, a weapon, uh, into weapon throw. Okay, cool. Uh, anyway, so you can see here they drop helmets. All right, so keep that in mind. Cannibals, helmets. Okay, all they couldn't quest. So then we have the cultists. These guys also drop helmets. Okay, but uh, the cultist dungeon uh, is not good. It doesn't have enough cultists. So, but yeah, they're easily spotted by the Red Hoods and Skull Mask. They're usually sacrificing humans for a ritual. Uh, this is done using my he three humans tied to a post while one performs a ritual. Uh, that can be summoned brute creatures uh, from other monster families, such as the Fallen and uh, Nangara. Uh, not much is known about their history, but they tend to hang out around Hazawar and Kedjistan in small groups. 
Yeah, I see small groups. Small groups. Uh, they have three members, the mother discipline and staff wielding mages uh, like to throw fireballs while the mother chosen wields a dagger running straight at you, the mother herald. Uh, are the bigger dudes and look tough, but they are the ones responsible for completing the ritual. So often they'll just ignore you while that's happening. So that is the cultist. So let's go to the drown. The drown are the undead creatures that have crawled into onto the shores of every area except for Fracture Peaks, as it isn't connected to the sea. Uh, there's an exception. Obsession for an unknown reason with the statue and the bells. Uh, the brute likes to hit them with a log, for it appears to be fun. Uh, they're led by Myrnith, also known as the Drowned Witch. Uh, this monster family has four members. Uh, brute, man of war that wields a tree log uh, and that creates flood water when slammed on the ground. Uh, the wrench uh, are mages that lob water bombs, uh, while the other two are small melee mobs, Tidewalker and Deckhand. The former wields a glow-in-the-dark club, while the latter wields a hook. They seem to have no strategy when approaching and aren't usually aggressive if you don't uh, trend too close to the shores. So they don't really drop anything that we're interested in, so, yeah. Uh, Fallen, everyone's favorite monster family is back. They've made the cut from previous games, and I'm sure they've paid a few devs off to return to Diablo 4, and they're just annoying as you remember. Uh, they're in Fracture Peach, Kajistan. This monster family has four members. Overseers are the brutes, and are generally hard to kill. Uh... While the regular Fallen tend to just be cannon fodder, lunatics explode themselves on you, uh, dealing a lot of damage in an area. Uh, most annoying are the shamans. Uh, they are mages that can throw fireball, though mostly infamous for the ability to resurrect the regular Fallen that have died in battle over and over. This process will happen until you kill the shaman itself. Generally, the strategy revolves around staying near their item of hemp whatever the fuck that is uh, which makes them stronger destroy it, destroy it and make them weaker if they're not hanging around the item 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 how do you say that chat let them somebody tell me in uh, comments please thanks uh, except ambush from underground so these guys drop axes stabs not to worry about that and then we have lastly or wait we have holy moly I thought that was it uh, so next is ghosts. Uh, not much is known about these ghosts, but they are all over sanctuary, seemingly bitter. They attack with standard weapons like bows, swords. Uh, the red ghosts are called phantoms, and their green counterparts are called vengeful spirits. Uh, they mostly reside in Fracture Peaks, but can be found pretty much anywhere. Uh, both types have range, skeletons. Yeah, these guys are super annoying, especially when they have vampiric. Um, Goatman, uh, champions demise anyone? Much like the, 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 the monster family is stable in the Diablo series, they're one of the most aggressive monster families available and they can take quite a beating. Uh, making disposing of them quite a challenge, often found in dry steeps, chopping up uh, random helpless humans, uh, they're easy to spot. Uh, the monster family has four members, uh, marauders, which is the smallest of them, quick to swarm you with their axes. Uh, the mauler is as a much bigger axe getting hit by an overhand attack from one of these will knock you down and peelers are the range mobs that throw spears with aim assist on uh, while the shaman buffs the other three members making them even more difficult to deal with if you see them kill the shaman always first yeah the shaman is the guy who uh, he's the one who like shoots the red lightning bolt and like powers them up like super saiyan they drop two handed axes axes two handed stabs and totems okay so any tornado builds any totem champion demise all right skeletons the skeleton family are the ogs of diablo monsters uh their weaponry 
All right, the run-of-the-mill bows, uh, rapiers, and axes. Uh, these guys hangs out in Fracture Peaks, Kedristan, uh, more than anywhere else. Uh, but they can be found wandering across all parts of the world. True, these crossbow things are a menace. One shots a lot of people. Uh, while this monster family is a typical melee and range monsters, uh, oh, sorry, members, uh, the most interesting is the turret. Uh, this thing is incredible range and hits hard. Due to its range, uh, they're often hard to see in battle. If you can, take them out first. Uh, we tend to pick. We tend to pick on them due to their molasses speed movement and attacks, but they're clever ambushers and often setting up beneath the ground, trapping you in a bone prison when you walk over it. Skeletons can be enchanted with fire letting them deal fire damage got to give it to them they're giving better with each diablo installment i i guess uh okay snakes snakes uh and nagaria are human serpent hybrids that reside in the swamps of hawaza i think that's how you say it uh this monster family has three members uh, the spitter fires poison uh, is the only one that looks like the snake and uh, they can be difficult to spot at times due to their slender physique that means they're skinny uh, the oracle is considered a mage and is capable of firing multiple acid bombs uh, it can even plant an eyeball sentry that can target you from afar these sentries are really hard to spot and can be frustrating the long fang is a melee Oh yeah, those sentries also uh, stun you, petrified or whatever. Uh, the long fang is a melee based brute with huge fangs. It loves using them in close combat. So that one drops two-handed pole arms and swords. Uh, okay, spiders. Uh, the creepy collars are back with a few modifications. They can now throw webs, which restricts all movement, even if they miss the webs are on the ground linger and will stop you when you walk over them yeah this is quite annoying uh when there's a lot of spiders this can lead to a very dangerous scenario uh of being chain webbed where you can't move uh if you don't have a way to get rid of your crowd control uh so yeah you definitely want to have cc break uh there's three members of the monster family big spider spiderlings and the parasitic spider host inhibiting a human uh, I guess that's this one killing the host spawns more spiders which is weak to skills that scale well with density ideal experience for farming what the okay uh, these guys are pretty rare to find in the world but you can spot them sometimes in dry steeps uh, they prefer dungeons uh, okay so yeah blind burrows yeah uh, chest focus Gloves, two-handed sword. Okay. All right, vampires. Uh, the vampire family consists of three members: uh, the revenant brute wielding a two-handed sword, uh, the swarming ghouls, and the vampires, which change forms from a bat to blood spell casting mage. Vampires often shift back to bat form to avoid damage or death outright. Uh, out of all the monster families, vampires typically have the biggest swarms. Uh, and easily overwhelm you as if you're not careful uh, as ghouls are insanely fast uh, they typically reside in fracture peaks though they're usually found lurking in dungeons um, so like core core dragon or whatever uh, yeah if you want to see the vampires core dragon uh, so yeah they drop bows two handed swords and wands and then uh, so here we're talking about target farming so again i mentioned up here we were talking about the cannibals and the cultists because these two have increased chance to drop helmet right common item drops helms common item drop helm so cannibals is the one i wanted to talk about so let me go ahead and pull up diablo so right now i am standing in front of uh Galran slums, okay, and then I have two of the sigils for here 
So we're gonna go ahead and use the. Uh, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and use this one. And then essentially, since this has increased helmet drop, and I'm trying to get Shaco, what I'm gonna do is just uh, do up until the last objective, and then. Uh, once I kill the big guy here, I'll just do a run real quick so I can show you because the second part of Garon slums is not um, Cannibals it's ghosts. So you only want to do the first part in my opinion uh, if you're just farming this and trying to get your uh, Harley Quinn crushed Hey, I just wanted to take a quick moment to remind you guys to subscribe to the channel I noticed that 97.2 of you are still not subscribed to the channel It would tremendously help if you hit that subscribe button for me It really helps the algorithm helps the channel grow also while you're at it hit that like button And uh, if you're really feeling special leave us a comment doesn't matter what just let me know something and then uh, I had a couple of people asking how they could support me further than just subscriptions uh, you can do that by just coming on discord hanging out with us there uh, Donations are greatly appreciated, but not required. Uh, I don't have like a paid Program or anything like that. I don't have patreon or anything set up yet uh, But I mean if you really want to donate you can go to my twitch page uh, links always in the description and there's a donate button there or uh, every single video of mine if you go to the description and you click show more and you scroll down through all the descriptions you can see the consider donating so you can donate here uh, and then if you want to join our discord there's the our discord link and then d4 official and then i just normally post a bunch of my other videos here um but yeah those are the two best ways to support me is just literally subscribe to the channel is the number one way and then if you really want to go above and beyond that, you can uh, just actually just donate uh, to like just straight money to PayPal or, you know, whatever. Uh, not required, though. Just only the subscription is. So, all right, let's get back to the video. Thank you.
all right so yeah that's going to be the run uh hopefully this increases our chances of getting the shaco drop i'm not sure what tier we need to do it's speculated that it needs to be nightmare 50 plus but that's speculation we're not sure uh supposedly according to the devs um certain mobs drop certain items at a higher rate etc so with that in plus the 50 nightmare so i'm going to be farming this for quite a while and just see what we get the next couple of days i'm just going to be doing this mainly just to see what kind of loot we're getting from this i'll keep you guys updated uh let me guys let me know what you guys get uh loot wise in the comments below uh from the events etc stuff like that let me know what you guys actually get loot wise uniques etc uh and then of course if you get shaco definitely let us know in the comments that'd be great and uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.